good morning children welcome back to your science class and in last class we had started a new topic our universe and we are well today we'll continue with that same topic our universe what we did in the last class we'll revise towards the end of this uh, class and uh, We'll start with the topic, how do we know that the earth is round? Who told us that the earth is round? How, what are the things which tells us that earth is round? People have sailed around the earth. You know, there are so many people, they go sailing, they go travel, they are traveling around the world. The people, they sail around the earth. They started at one place and kept on sailing. Finally, they came back to the same place. Okay, they started from one place, they kept on sailing and finally they came back to the same place. This is possible only if the earth is round. When a ship sails away from us, when a ship sails away from us, if we are standing at the shore, at the port, if we are standing at the seaport and if we see a ship going, so what happens, the lower part of the ship disappears. First, the lower part of the ship disappears, then the middle part and finally the top part. This can happen only on a round surface. On a flat surface, the whole ship will go out of sight at the same time. Okay, if it was earth was flat, then the uh, ship would have gone out of sight at the same time. But because the earth is round, the first what happens, the lower portion, you cannot see, it gets out of sight. And then it disappears, then the middle part and then the top part. Second point is this, this proves that the earth is round. And then people have gone into space and have taken photographs of the earth. These photographs also show that the earth is round. These photographs have also showed that the earth is round. So these are the three points. And earth looks flat to us. When we see it looks flat. Why? Because only a spot, we see only a very small part of the earth. We cannot see the whole earth from here. So we see a only small part of a very big arc of the earth. Earth is very big. Is that clear? Is that clear? So now, I told you first about the moon. Moon is the natural satellite of the Earth. What is a moon? It is the natural satellite of the earth. It is not man-made. It's a natural satellite. It does not have a light of its own. It reflects the light of the sun. Now what happens? And it revolves. The moon revolves around the, the moon revolves around the earth. Moon revolves. the earth. Okay. Earth goes around the sun and moon goes around the earth. Now what happens? Moon completes one revolution. Like how I told you, the earth completes one rotation in 24 hours, one revolution in one year, that is 365 and 14 days. And same way, the moon, it completes one it goes around, it completes one revolution around the earth in how many days? In 28 days. In 28 days. The moon completes one revolution In 28 days. Okay. This also you have to remember. You have to keep in mind. Now what happens now. There are other planets also. Like how earth has got uh, this uh, moon. Satellite. Natural satellite. Other planets also have got satellite. Now example Jupiter has got 12 moons. 12 natural satellites. Mars has got 2 moons. Mercury and Venus they do not have moons at all. Is that clear? Now, have you noticed the shape of the moon? Night time, if you see in the sky, 
or anytime you see the moon, the shape of the moon changes. Have you seen? Sometimes you see the full and the round moon. Sometimes you see the crescent moon. Sometimes you see half moon. Okay. So, sometimes crescent is this. You see only like this. This you will be doing it in the next class. Sometimes you see the crescent moon. This is a crescent. Sometimes you see half the moon and sometimes no moon at all. So what, what happens now? Why the moon is changing the shape? Actually the moon does not change its shape. The shape of the moon is round only. The shape of the moon is round. But... What happens? We see only the visible part of the moon. The lit part. The part which is lit. The part which is lit we see. That is why we see the different part of the different shape of the moon. Now, the shape of the moon does not change but it is only the visible part of the moon that appears to change from day to day. The moon does not have light of its own. The moon does not have light. It reflects the light of the sun. So on different days, different parts of the moon are lit. They are different parts of the moon are sometimes only half part, sometimes the full part. So the moon seems to change its shape. Is that clear? So now we'll just go through the different parts, different shape of the moon. Different shapes of the moon. Now sometimes... We do not see the lit up face of the moon at all. Sometimes we do not see the lit up part of the moon at all. That is called the new moon. That is called the new moon. Then, then what happens? After two or three days, a small portion of the moon is stuck like it's Thus, to, we can see only a small portion of the moon and that is called the crescent moon. That is called the crescent moon. These are the shapes of the moon. Then third is about a week of the new moon, we can see half of the moon. That is called the half moon. That is called the half moon. Is that clear? Then last is the gibbous moon. Not the last, sorry. One more is there. After two, three, three days, more than half of the moon. More than half. It bulges like this. So that is called gibbous moon. G-I-B-B-O-U-S. Gibbous moon. And last is the full moon. You can see the full moon after a week. After two weeks of the new moon. After this new moon, that is cannot see the moon at all. After two weeks you see the full moon and that is called the full moon. That is called the full moon. Is that clear? So when you see the full moon it is fully lit up. You can see the full moon because the full moon is lit up. So we can say that moon appears to change its shape Sometimes we see the full moon and when it is full moon, it is Purnima. In Hindi we call it Purnima and sometimes we see only a part of the moon. We do not, sometimes we do not see the moon at all. The different shapes of the moon that we see is called faces of the moon. These different shapes, this, these are called the faces, stages, faces of the moon. Faces of the moon. We will be doing it in the class, uh, next class. Okay. The waxing and uh, the uh, waning phase and all. So, here you only keep this in mind. These five stages and these are called the uh, uh, faces of the moon. Is that clear? So, these are the different shapes of the moon. Now, this was all about moon. Okay. I told you, moon takes 28 days to complete one revolution around the earth. Okay, moon does not have light of its own. It reflects the light of the sun. Hmm? Then, uh, the moon, it uh, earth has got only one moon. 
Earth has got how many moons? One moon. Jupiter has got twelve moons. And moons and Mars has got Mars has got two moons and Mercury and Venus has got no moon at all. Is that clear? So this was all about the moon. Next we'll do stars. You see on in the sky sometimes you see the stars make they make different shapes and patterns in the sky. Okay. You may you can see they make different shapes and patterns in the sky. They some people, some star forms patterns or shapes in the sky. These patterns and shapes are called constellation. Okay. They are, it seems that they are arranged in some way. A fixed pattern is made. The stars they form fixed pattern and it is called constellation. constellation okay stars form a fixed pattern fixed patterns or shapes so that is called constellations okay that is called constellation Ex the great bear and the Orion are the two constellations you can easily see in the sky. That is the Great Bear and the Orion. If, uh, the example of constellation you can write down the Great Bear. And the Orion. These are the two examples of constellation. Is that clear? Hmm? Next we will move on to artificial satellite. Artificial satellite. Satellite. You can just go through it if you want to read it. Okay. Now, artificial. What are artificial satellites? I told you the natural satellite. That is, moon is a natural satellite. There are some man-made satellites. They are called artificial satellites. Man-made satellites are called artificial satellites. Artificial satellite. Okay. We are living in a space age. We are living in a space age. Okay. Then our knowledge in science has increased a lot. Scientists have launched many satellites into the space. These are called artificial satellites. They have introduced many satellite in the space so that those are called artificial satellites these satellites are very useful to know about space they are also helpful in telecommunication and in tv tv transmission the first artificial satellite was sputnik 1 it was sent into space by russia in 1957 india has also launched her own satellites the first Indian satellite was Aryabhat. Aryabhat. This was the first Indian satellite. The, and it was sent in the space on 19th April 1975. Then other Indian uh, uh, satellites are Bhaskara, Rohini, Apple, Inset 1A, Inset 1B and Inset 2E. Okay, you can, you need to remember only two. You can remember Aryabhat, Rohini and Bhaskara, Apple. Is that clear? So, this finishes our lesson. Now, what are the uses of artificial satellite? The uses of artificial satellite we have not done. Why? Why did this, why do scientists place send satellites in the space? When we have natural satellite, why do we use the artificial satellite? So first is they help in weather forecasting. 
we come to know whether it will rain tomorrow, what will be the weather tomorrow. So the weather forecasting, it is, we come to know through satellites. They help in the transmission of radio and television programs. The television programs, what we see, it all, it, it all comes through these artificial satellites. They are helpful in locating mineral resources. Mineral resources, they come to know through these satellites, they come to know about the mineral resources. They help in long distance communication. Long distance communication also, it is used in that long distance communication. Is that clear? So, now we will just go through, revise what we have done from the beginning. From the beginning what we did? We did, we did about the sun and the solar system. Solar system, what is the solar system? The sun, the eight planets and its moon, they are called solar system. Is that clear? Then I told you the eight planets. I told you the eight planets. And I told you the eight planets, their names and their, uh, what is the movement around the earth. Now the eight planets which goes around the earth, which goes around the uh, sun, the eight planets which goes around the sun, you have to, if in order of the distance from the sun, you can say the Mercury, Venus, then earth is on the third number, earth is on the third number. Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Is that clear? So you please learn the names of these planets. Okay. Then what we did, the solar system we did, then this, then Earth. Earth has got two movements. Two movements. One is around its, uh, round its axis. It moves around its axis on its axis. The Earth moves on its axis. It spins like a top. It spins like a top and that is called Rotation. What is it called? Rotation. It takes 24 hours to complete one rotation. Okay. So it causes day and night. It causes day and night. Okay. Rotation causes day and night. This is the result of rotation. Next, the second movement of earth. The second important movement of earth is the revolution. Revolution is, revolution, it completes in 365, one revolution it completes 365 and one four days and it causes seasons. It causes seasons. Okay, so this was all, all about this, then stars, to, uh, then we did the moon, I told you moon is the natural satellite of the earth and before that we did that how can we know that the earth is? Round. So there are photographs taken by the, uh, the people, by the scientists who have gone uh, to the space and from the moon they have taken the photographs of the earth. So from that it proves that the earth is round. And then there are other things like ship when it goes far away, we see that only uh, it doesn't disappear at once, not, but it goes slowly, slowly it disappears. That shows that earth is round. Then when we start from one place, we come back to the same place. That also shows that Earth is round. Is that clear? Then artificial satellite uh, faces of the moon we did. Okay. The five faces we did. And then moon. Uh, this uh, moon takes 28 days to complete one revolution around the Earth. Artificial satellite. I told you the uses of artificial satellite and constellations. There are some fixed pattern in the sky. Those are called, the stars make fixed pattern and those are called constellations. Two examples also I, and in the study material you will see all this what I have taught you. The important material I have, I will, all, I will send it. Okay, so that's all for today. I have already completed, I have touched the important topics. So see you in the next class. Take care, stay safe, bye.